Hello everyone, right here I have my iMac G5 and I just replaced the power supply on this but unfortunately the hard drive died as well. Um, so as you can see, in just a moment our finder question mark little symbol will pop up on the screen meaning that the hard drive is dead or something similar happened. Um, so I'm going to be replacing it right now. So right here I have my 320 gigabyte brand new hard drive. It's actually probably used but whatever. Um, and I also have my screwdriver set right here. Um, you probably don't need a whole set. I mean, the screws are relatively standard, so you can just get away with a normal screwdriver, which is what I have right here as well. Um, different, different bit on each end. All right. So the first step in any hardware modification process is to shut down the computer. So, like anybody should, just unplug it directly. Um, all right. Now let's flip it over so the top is on the ground. You might want to use a towel for this, but I'm really too lazy for that. Um, then just lift this up, and as you can see here, there's going to be three screws on the bottom that you need to remove. There's one right here. Actually, no, that screw's missing. Wait, no, sorry, there's one right here. There's one right there, and there's another one right there. So I'm just going to take my standard screwdriver and go ahead and remove all three of those. Alright, so the screws are not going to come fully out, but that's okay. We'll just lift up the base of the computer. And now you'll see all the components, at least most of them. Um, so if we just focus on the top half over here, you'll notice the hard drive. Um, now you'll also notice this uh, little cooling fan system. You're going to have to remove that in order to get to the hard drive. So you're going to have to remove this screw, and I believe this screw. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And that will just lift up very nicely. So now you have access to the hard drive. Just unplug the SATA connectors from it. There's power, and that's the one that connects to the motherboard. Alright, so now that your SATA connectors are removed, just remove this screw right here. And these two screws over here, this one's already missing for some reason, I have no idea why, but just remove it. It should be there, so... It's important to separate the screws from uh, the other two, or sorry, the other, yeah, the other two that are removed in order to remove the fan assembly. Just so you don't get them mixed up. And now the hard drive should come out. There we go. But you'll notice that it's attached to this base. So what you're going to have to do here is just get a star screwdriver, which I actually have a bit for, and then remove each of the star screws. There's two on this side, and it looks like there's two more right here. Alright, so now with this assembly removed, you can go ahead and take out your old hard drive. And now I'm just going to remove this hard drive from its packaging. And I'll install it back into this assembly. So now you can go ahead and plug this back in. Like so. Hard drive goes upside down. So now with your hard drive back in properly, make sure that you screw in the three proper screws that go with the hard drive, not the fan assembly. I actually found the third screw that goes with my hard drive, so I'm going to screw in all three this time. And with the screws back in, you can go ahead and reconnect the SATA connectors. There you go. And now we'll just uh, screw back in this fan covering. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that if you really want to ground yourself, you can. To ground yourself, you take your finger and you put it on the power supply. And that's supposed to prevent your computer from blowing up. So you can do that. Um, I think it's a hoax myself. But anyway, you can now just put on the rear iMac thing. If you want to, you can try booting it up first to make sure that everything works. 
and you didn't screw anything up. Hopefully you didn't. It's a bit of a pain to get back in. And then with that done, go ahead and tighten these three screws in the back of your iMac. So now with the three screws in the back tightened, you can go ahead and lift up your iMac. And you can do a first boot to make sure that everything works. Um, so right now I need to install the operating system. I hope that your hard drive replacement was a success. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.